And we are back. Greetings, people of Earth. So, welcome to the Wilders game. This is episode number 35. Number 35. We play about three episodes per night. We play every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Most Wednesdays. Live, uh, Mountain Standard Time. Rain Most rain. Wednesdays. Most Wednesdays. Not every Wednesday, 100% <laughs> of the time, because we are working for 11. Know what I mean? And that means that we're busy. As a matter of fact, we're not sure about the next two Wednesdays because we are very busy. It is a very busy time here. We will see. Um, we will announce on our Facebook and on Twitch uh, if we're going to be able to make it or not. But uh, we know for sure that uh, at least two of our players are gone doing other things. And that's why. Next Wednesday is Klondike Days here in Edmonton. Mm -hmm. um, so, and Rob does... 10 days straight, 16 hours on his feet drawing caricatures. That's what, pe that's what making, you are, right, Rob? You are a caricature artist. Man. Making a killing, yeah. but it's a hard work. Oh, yeah. It's it's very hard work, but it's amazingly and rewarding uh, work because you, you get to meet people from all over the world, especially at K-Days, and they're mm -hmm. amazingly impressed that anybody can capture anything in five minutes much less a really fun image of them and their friend or whatever in a in in a fun and crazy environment so hey, fix cool. your camera rob it's a, oh sorry it on you my camera is messed up Just center it on you that's good 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 there all right fix my face now. so as i said uh welcome to episode number 35 last uh episode we're going to play tonight <clears throat> It is hot, hot, hot. It is July here right now. We are going to go around the table real quick, do quick intros for those who don't know our game. Uh, I'm Dave Wildson. I'm the Game Master. And to my left is Mr. Raven Alexium. Hello, Blend the Valley. Raven Alexium, the squishy wizard. But I'm useful because I have wands. Wands. Ooh, bling. And Josephine. Hello, I am uh, Amanda, played by Josephine Smith. Uh, I am a gun master. Uh, sorry, a gunslinger, sharpshooter, sharp and watch out for my mighty whip. There we go. And Lavinia. My name is Lavinia Rose, and I am accompanied by my grandmother, who is held captive in this skull. She was cursed, and her soul was in her own skull. In yeah. her own, yeah. All right. Super. And Percy. I am Percival mm Weirdtelma, -hmm. and I am not to be trifled with. I shall take out any foe with my <laughs> masterful claws and my incredible muscles. <laughs> so Percy started out as, I'm going to clarify that first before we go to Thaddeus. Let's go back to Percy for a sec. Percy started out as a ranger, but he ended up uh, having misfortune befall him and it became a weir tiger. Uh, cursed as a weir tiger, so now sometimes he doesn't have control of that. All right, Thaddeus, let's go to Thaddeus now. Thaddeus, what do you think? Hello, I'm Ian Little, and I'm playing Thaddeus Poindexter, who is an expert at rolling ones. <laughs> <laughs> Thaddeus is a rogue with a set of cursed dice. <laughs> they really are. And it's so spreading. <laughs> it's amazing how many ones he rolls. It's he might be going for the skill. record. <laughs> you might be going for the record, buddy. You need okay. to roll two ones at the same time in Vegas. Hello, Snake Eyes. Uh, all right. So uh, we're going to jump back to triple screen because we're in the middle of combat. We're in the middle of this dungeon crawl. These guys are going through a little mine. It's just a little uh, uh, extra adventure uh, besides their main storyline. They have come face to face with what was known as Immortlock. And they kicked his ass. But he had a dig widget with him that he was working on. And the dig widget apparently has a much harder ass. And uh, so they're now fighting this dig widget, uh, trying to get through the rest of this dungeon to try and find three prisoners they think are held here by some Dwergar dwarfs that they're looking for. That's the story, and we are going to pick up our combat right now with Josephine Smith, who just tried to roll 
to attack and knock the dig widget prone i'm going to pop up the picture for everybody we haven't had it in this particular episode yet i don't have a picture of the dig widget by himself so this is him this is what they saw uh, when they first encountered these guys and then perjurus immediately hit them with a projectile launcher by the way that's what it was here is the picture <clears throat> showing that contents to everybody everybody can see what that is and um, so you said that the troll uh, the wear wear guard was about seven feet tall oh, so yeah. it looks like the robot would be about eight feet tall yeah well no they're both they're both they're both the, the same, same height they're both okay. seven feet tall and uh there's the the pick for you just so you understand what that dig widget looks like how did you get this image uh this is a an ai generated image that i uh had made wow i make up most of my stuff these days uh and i'm using bing right now um and because it's quick and it's fast and it's user friendly just depending on what i want and it's become a lot smarter lately so it's handy for my quick images that we're using just for storyboarding and playing and that kind of thing. Let's close this image off. Let's get it off of the main game screen too. We'll get that one closed up and we will go to triple so we can actually see if Josephine is able to pull this thing prone. It means you got to roll an athletics check, right? Versus the fortitude check of the, uh, or the reflex, I should say, check of Mr. Dig Widget. I'm just waiting for my screen to update. I did select athletics. Oh, it's still a plus 12. Okay. There you go. Uh, 27. Oh, you have no problem at all because Dig Widget rolled a shitty five. Dig Widget totters backwards with a loud resounding crash, hits the ground, and with that kind of a thing uh i don't think he, he would take any damage i'm gonna say he is just prone that was your third the, because your I, last action i ran i like i ran and like piggybacked on ah, that's right there. you did yeah I yeah, took yeah, the yeah, whip yeah and i pulled him down pretty awesome man i am going to say that that kind of heroism that's kind of deading do. A hero point, hero point. There you go. So much. Hero point. So much deading do. <clears throat> Did a great job. Hero point. <laughs> Josephine's a killer. You got to watch out for her. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's uh, move on then. It immediately becomes Bear's, Bear's turn, turn because that's your companion. Oh, what do I tell Bear to do or ask Bear to do? Or. Mm, well, are you riding him? Turn, Bear, what would you. Okay. I think like Bear is going to go and sit on him. Bear jumps up on top of him. Mm -hmm. Rawr, try, and, try and keep him down. Mm -hmm. And uh, while he's there, he might gnaw at the cables conjoining to his neck. He's going to try and gnaw at the cables conjoining to his neck. Mm -hmm. Well, let's make that an attack then. Roll to see if you do any damage. Bear's going for the jugular. Let's bring up Bear here. Nom, nom, nom. Mm hmm So that would be Jaws attack? Yeah. Okay, so he's got a plus 12 to strike, and he rolled a 14, so he rolled 26. Hits. And he's got a 1t10 plus 5 piercing. I'm going to say he's, he gets a hold with his teeth, and he's ripping out some of the cables that are in an exposed area and he rolled a five uh plus five so uh he he did 10 points of damage damn good damn good job bear's a good boy good Always boy good. job good, good good boy bear good boy. okay you. excellent stuff all right that means that next up after bear is done it becomes dig widgets turn dun, 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 dig widget okay so uh dig widget himself What's he going to do? He's on his back. With a bear on top of him. With a bear on top of him. <laughs> and decides that this is a perfectly acceptable position for him to do anything he wants to do. So he immediately 
turns around, extends his drills, and tries to go after Josephine, who uh, had pulled him over. So he's going to try a drill attack. Again. On Josephine. He rolls a shitty 5, and a 14 is 19 and does not do the job. He stole his my other dice. Hand, what's that? He stole my dice. Yeah, he stole. <laughs> Todd, he says dice. Bad, 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 bad job. Okay, let's try. He's going to try a second attack with the other hand, which has the corkscrew. He's got the two hands. One's got the drill. One's got the corkscrew. The second one is a four. Oh, my <laughs> God. Dig Widget, you, are, you should, Thaddeus, you should gamble with Dig Widget more. You probably can take him. We've only just met. And the very last one, and he's got only a plus four on this. It is a 19 plus four. The last one is a corkscrew that hits. So that would be, and it's a corkscrew. It's 2d8, damn it. Raven, can you he's all, He already hit me uh, last Sorry. round for 11 oh points of corkscrew damage to my stomach. You should use your or, bottle of wine uh, buff. And he rolls a seven plus a one. That's eight plus four. He hits you for 12 more points. Ow. That's the end of Dig Widget's turn. And it immediately becomes Thaddeus's turn. I'm using my exquisite cane rapier. Exquisitely. Um, um, without um, unsheathing the, the blade. Right. Uh, so as a baseball bat for bludgeoning and I'm attacking the corkscrew. Okay, I'm gonna try and smash that corkscrew. Smashing the corkscrew. Let's see if you're able to disable it. I'm gonna say it's possible to disable it. It it will be for sure if you crit it. Uh, <laughs> I'll figure out <laughs> I'm sorry what was that word? I said crit and I'm talking about Thaddeus' rolls at the same time. It's no, happened. No, it has happened. It has happened. Go ahead. Give it a try. With my plus 14, I have 19. Well, that's better than it was. Better. Misses. He is prone, and we are... Uh... Next one is plus yeah. 10. He's prone, so his armor class has <laughs> dropped. You know what, actually? My four. And, let and me... we are flanked. So let me correct two, him with these different effects that he's got. So he is, let me, let me, we never use these controls, but there we go. He's prone, which makes him off guard. Mm -hmm. And I got to make sure flanked is in here or it's not happening. So I think it's actually flanked and off guard is the same thing. Okay. Off guard is a, the pathfinder term for the new pathfinder term for flanked. So that means let's look at his armor class now that we've applied those those effects. It's twenty. He lost two points doing that. Okay. So Nineteen. So he just missed it. Just okay. missed him. Okay, next one is at plus ten. Oh. That's a twenty nine. Oh yeah. hit some hit some hardcore. I'm gonna say that um I'm gonna roll to see. Okay, difficulty check is 10. You go, you go ahead and roll. Difficulty check of 10. You roll 10 or higher, and you break that drill. That The corkscrew you said? It was a corkscrew or a drill? 11. You ah! broke that. Yeah. Which one is it? Is the corkscrew or the drill that you were Oh, it's the corkscrew. Corkscrew becomes broken. Well, how much damage do you do to Dig Widget after disabling his corkscrew? Um, nine. Nine points of damage. You're nice. taking him down. Nice. Is that the end of your turn? Do you have any more actions? Um, any more actions? I think I have one more. Yeah, because you had a plus 10, so that was your second act. Um, I think I'm just going to do a step back. Okay, take a step. As you step back, well, Percy Weir Tiger steps up. And what's Percy Weir Tiger going to do this time? Well, Percy Weir Tiger is going to you know, smite him badly. You shall you smite smart. him, I and you shall smite him hard. Smite him harsh. So the first one we're doing is Jaws. Jaws. And 18 plus uh, 20, uh, plus uh, 13 is 
31. 31. Which is 30, a crit, no, my friend. So, 31. and with the jaws. Because his is... AC is 20 right now because he's prone. So, if you hit him for 31 or 32, you critted him. And that is a D10 plus a D6. I wish to call at this point attention to our screen where Percy's character screen is. And you'll notice that there's actually a little image on the character screen of the weir tagger in one corner and the shadow shackles in the other corner pretty classy stuff i thought oh, pretty groovy hello. yes i like it i can see that yeah pretty slick huh for his character screen so and uh what has percy weir tiger accomplished 13 hit points of damage with his jaws so once so just like bear you Dig into it with the jaws, ah, ah, rip out a whole bunch of wires. A whole bunch of wires. And it goes. Psh, 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 psh. Now we're taking off 13. So that is. Oh, it's crit too, right? That was crit. So double. Oh my God. 26, 26, points. 26 points of damage, mine from. Yes. Okay, I got it. Woo. He is starting to malfunction a little bit. He is going to now be attacking with disadvantage. Excellent. Ooh. Okay. And my second attack. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's going down. Go ahead. Okay, and this is uh this is Fangs. No, ah, that's garbage. Okay, and my third Oops. attack is Claws. Mm, uh, it's only twenty. I don't think it'll hit. But uh, you said his oh, but I've also got penalty. So, so his AC is twenty. Yeah, but did you I, match it or less? I matched it. So there's. I'm going to no... say it hits if you match it. Okay, and uh, so AC is twenty, and that means that with claws it is one d eight plus one d one d four. Yeah. I wish that I could create video of this kind of action because can you imagine a robot mm -hmm. laying on its back with sparks mm -hmm. and there's this big ass weird tagger ripping into it while a, weird, while a dire wolf sits on top of it. Yeah, right? That would be a wonderful. That'd be crazy stuff. Visuals. And 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 your dire wolf is just looking at me going, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, go, take go, go, that. Go. Take that. Like, yeah, so buddy. what did you do for damage uh it is eight nine, ten eleven points of damage Shisa. all right that is that was my third strike so i'm i'm good you're out I'm, well, three strikes you're three out strikes i give three. these guys this massive amount of health i'm like good this should take him a little while. no it doesn't even last a round <laughs> okay that means that uh percy weir tiger has really delivered and it becomes raven's turn nice okay raven pulls out his wand of force barrage and he casts wand of force. three magic missiles <laughs> except it's way manlier than that <laughs> <laughs> we can figure out some sound effects when i get missiles. my sound effects done then we'll have twinkle a better twinkle one. twinkle so nice uh, Oh, holy. oh, yeah, that's a good roll. Um, 11 plus 3, 14 points of damage. All right, total of 14 points of damage. And I, I yeah, I'm, I'm going to stay where I'm at. So he is prone. You see these little blue missiles go. They hit him. Uh, Please tell me they miss Bear. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's an Because they somebody. always hit their target as magic yeah. missiles. However, on top of them. Yeah, but wild magic. magic occurs, uh -oh. and it looks like the spell cast is intended. Uh, wild magic also occurred for Lavinia's, and the spell cast it as intended, by the way. Oh, oh intended. Oh, okay. Goodness. All right. So we dodged the bullet. Yes. It's so only you'll one see out of in every 16. You can, if you look in chat, uh, you will see the little graphic and everything. This will mm. always be the graphic when wild magic happens. Uh, I can probably show you on the gm yeah. screen you'll see it right there oh i'm not gonna show you this though oh yeah there. the wall magic yeah so you'll see it it says it'll always say as the spell begins you feel the surge of wild magic in the ether around you and it's got the nice little picture and then below if it casts and it's successful the spell cast is intended if there's a side effect the spell still casts but an unintended side effect happens as well 
All right, just to clarify that so you guys know what's going on. Back to the action. We're almost done with uh, this uh, combat, and it becomes Lavinia's turn. What's Lavinia going to do? Oh, I have a question for you. Um, yes. How far away exactly am I from him? Well, these tiles make it easy to go. 5, 10, 15. You're... 25. Uh, 20. No, no, he's right here. 5, 10. Not even 20. He's right here. No, not even 20. 5, 10. You're 15 feet away from him. Okay. okay. So... I'm walking up to this sucker and taking my jug of water and pouring it on him. Okay, so you're going to walk 10, ten, things don't like. 10 feet up. You're going to be right between Raven and uh, a big-ass weir tiger. You guys are all kind of crowded in there together, and you are pouring a big jug of water on him. I am. Just regular water? Just giving him a bath. Just plain old anywhere that there's an electrical area that looks like it could be. Well, we've been ripping cables. Ex exposed yeah. neck jugular robot area. Yeah, yeah. and I I've been ripping at it, and so was uh, Bear. Um, yeah, <clears throat> I'm I'm not going to use you've been banging holy at it water too, so. because it's. So I'm just curious. Uh, this these types of mechanical objects actually have a property known as mechanical vulnerability. And it talks about a creature with expert proficiency in thievery can attempt to check to, to disable the device. But I'm going to say walking up with water and dumping it on him, same thing. For sure, it's a check to disable the device. And that means the DC is 22. Go ahead and roll to, to see if you successfully disable him. What am I rolling to be able to? I'm going to say that you can add your what the hell would you add to this what's your spell casting level i'm going to say add a flat out plus eight okay to whatever you roll 13 plus eight 31 succeeds that's 21 yeah succeeds 13 plus eight is 21. 21 and the dc is 22. It does not disable him. However, it's absolutely going to cause shorts. So we're going to say that you can roll, um, you can roll a D8 plus four for damage. Plus two. You're going to do four for sure, and then whatever the D8 gives you on top of that. Plus two, so six. Six points of damage. That's not very much, but you see that the shorts in him are so the sh the electrical circuitry shorts in him are so bad. Oh, I I, wrote, I counted that the wrong way. Hold on, you did six points of damage, right? Mm. There we go. That's better. So, um, and he's got one disabled arm, and he's prone. So it's just like. <laughs> um. You have one more action. I'm going to cast some magic missiles on him. So, after doing that, you cast magic missiles. Magic missiles will give you one missile to hit him with. Roll to hit. Well, roll for damage, I mean, yeah. 1d4. Okay. Uh, four. And you get plus three force on it still, for yeah. sure. Nice. So four. Four? Mm -hmm. Four, eight. You hit him for seven. You hit him for seven, seven points of damage. Wild magic surge occurs, and the ca spell casts as intended. And with. <laughs> so you go, soup. One little spiral missile goes out, <laughs> hits him in just the right place, and he goes. <laughs> And the lights fade from the little peripherals that he's got because he is destroyed. Yay! Woo! You are out of combat. Way to go, Lavinia. Good Good God, I can't believe you guys killed those two that quick. I, I can. We're, it took, we rock. It Badass. took three episodes. <laughs> it did take two episodes, that's three. true. Sorry about the combat, folks. We're trying to balance how much combat we play as, uh, as opposed to all of the other exploration and 
running around and meeting uh, characters and all the I other fun you, things we there's do. There's no People one out there combat. that minds us fighting these silly I mean, things. they can always fast forward, right? People and then go to the end of the combat, combat and find out what happened. Yeah. Uh, that is it. You are done. You are out of combat. What do you wish to do? So Percy has got a light on his head, on his hat, and he's been walking all over the place. So I'm going to say that there, you guys have lit up this area a little bit more. I'm going to make, uh, clear out a bunch of the, uh, fog of war for you. Sorry. Did you pick up the, the items from that, um, clockwork creature? I didn't, no. Okay. Did I, you guys move I, them somewhere? I, I only moved to the... I don't know who was doing the clockwork one. Oh my god, this damn dwarf is... St- I'm deleting that dwarf. Can I delete him? Just He's delete now at a distance dwarf. from Percy and still moving with him. I don't know. I, I can't even not clock... Happy or, or, with the clockwork how one. this... Yeah, I can't either add-on works this module it's not excuse me dave we are having difficulty um clicking on the clockwork uh creature so it it could be that his inventory was only viewable by you oh is that the case i was able to open it previously but i didn't take anything from it and now i can't open the inventory on the clockwork item nor does it give me a, a name or anything if I have her on it or any other activity. Make sure that you are, that you have the right, the right tool up in your tool bar selected. You need to make sure you've got the little man selected in the little box. Yeah. Cause sometimes okay. if you have something else selected, oh, I see. it doesn't work. <clears throat> okay. But, Anybody else able to open the dig widgets uh, inventory? Nope. Well, damn. So, uh, encounters. Band in mine. While we do that, I want to show off my wand that I bought at a... Uh, a medieval knights event. <laughs> well, of course I do. So, so here's our wand tool belt. Well, it's it's a work in progress, and but it holds wands, and it has this particular wand, which I'm particularly proud of, because it has some interesting gem eyes in it, and it has a very interesting. Jewel crystal at the very gem. end. A so yeah. it, it doesn't do anything mechanical other than magical at this point, but eventually I'd like to make it into more than it is. So I'm stalling while Dave figures out. Well, we're, we're done. We're oh, good to okay. go. Forget it. I'm so uh, I just gave you all <laughs> ownership of them. You should be able to double click them and open them now and <laughs> do what you need. Okay. Uh, let's move on. I said I was going to clear away some there fog of war. Before, yeah. <laughs> so let's move that on. And you realize... Now, there's an open passage right here that goes directly to the shrine, and he has been watching you from the darkness while you were all standing around in the shrine, waiting to get some of you alone so he could take a shot at you with his big old projectile launcher. Huh? Does that show up? Can you see that on the big map? No. Now you can see? Yep. Well, we can see the shrine. And you can see there's a big opening there, right? Yes. You also, this is uh, all of the doors that you find. You find a door directly to your south. Okay, but what's projectile launching at us from the shrine? ding a ling ling What's that? What's projectile Nothing right now, but he, he was, wa- Perjurus was watching you. When you were over at the shrine, we just oh. we just didn't have a. You just point didn't of go that we direction. We didn't. We see We had him. no who, saw idea who gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. he was. Okay, we have uh, used up our time. God, I can't believe these forty-minute sessions are going this quick. We are out of combat, though. So I think what we will do is uh, take a quick. Uh, 
break until 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, right now it is 9.51. Uh, for the folks that are watching our episodes recorded on YouTube, this will be the end of this episode. We'll be doing one more episode tonight, just a short one. We've done three. I know we've done three. I'm just going to add a little one because I, it's I think we need to do 50 o'clock. minutes next week or next time. I think so. Well, to, like, if or should we call do... it here? I mean, I yes. can just edit this bit out. All right. Oh. It's hot. We're tired. We're going to pick it up here like this the next time we play. So this will be the end of this episode and the end of this stream. Uh, any last minute things you guys want to talk about before we go? Lavinia had wanted to take a nap. Okay. You guys can think about that, whether you can take a nap or not. Uh, what do you and think? We'll decide that next week time we play oh we're gonna decide it next time okay anything well, else before okay. we go any other things um, i will be exploring the area and checking for the plan will be to explore next time and <clears throat> see what's around and there's so, still obviously some dwergar dwarves to deal with in this thing but uh you've cleared out another whole wing and the way we've been going they don't have much chance i wouldn't we kind that. of kick ass we're kind of badass. We right are now. so badass, smart ass. You're going to get you power down. Guys, watch what you say. You're going to get wonk. Going to jinx it? No. We know how to knock on wood. You're you, you you're, know how to look and knock on wood. <laughs> your magic <laughs> users could use some rest, though, because we've yeah. not rested for two days. Um, um, none of, we, of us have. Thank but, you. But we can't use any of our spells or anything. I know. Right? Yeah, we need to rest we need some of us need to heal as well this is mm -hmm. the problem when you go into some situations is that you get stuck where you're not able to take a rest that's what's happened here you know i think that is one thing i would like to do before we move ahead i mean are we still recording we're still recording okay then if we can gather i will do um, I only have two AOE heals left. And so if we can gather together. Come, children, gather together. All right. I, I want to leave that till next week, though. I don't want to do any more stuff for action today. I'm Yeah, I'm at two-thirds of right. health. Okay, then I'm we going can to pause the game week. right here. Boom. Hold game on one, one second oh. <laughs> before you want to talk you about chat? I, well, I just want to say that I and I said, uh, yep, bragging just leads to the DM spawning a blue dragon at the end of the dungeon. <laughs> or at the beginning of the dungeon spawning a green dragon who eats our horses. That, that was, too. That happened in the last campaign. That was my my hook. We can talk about that story one of these times. <laughs> okay, can you, everybody. Can you thank our audience people. Want to thank um, everybody? Yes. Okay, so I um so on YouTube we have my friend. Uh, he's going under a strange name, Richard Nixon or something like that. <laughs> Millhouse. <laughs> That's can, his can middle we name. Scroll up just a little bit. I no, we, we can't. I haven't got any control of that oh. shit. <laughs> oh, okay hold on a second hold on a second oh jeff douglas so my friend jeff douglas showed up on youtube nice and then we have um chris 3125 who showed up here on twitch and zz and sugarberries and sugarberry. ion tops and rorosita and so thank you all for um for coming and commenting I'm, I'm i'm sure there's more people who are watching and just not commenting but we appreciate you all and we appreciate your feedback and yeah i mean we we do this for us but we do it for you too and we hope you enjoy it absolutely almost right. feel like we need the magic mirror of i see zz and i see ro ro romper stomper bass. romper do yeah. tell me tell me tell me true careful janice we're aging ourselves oh dear, Most people oh have dear. no idea what that means i know um, right i know what that means well do be a doobie don't be a don't be okay. and in right, canada do be a doobie means say something. good night we're good night thank you thank you